Hello everybody, the subject of this presentation is daytime variation of the sodium layer in the EF's upper atmosphere. The sodium atom is present in the permanent layer in the mesosphere and the lower thermosphere region. Two regions of the atmosphere through the process of the meteor ablation. The variations of the sodium layer are controlled by chemical reactions and dynamics such as molecular diffusion and turbulent diffusion. The fluorescence of the sodium atom is used by leaders and satellite as a tracer for observing the ionosphere region. When the diagram of the chemistry of the sodium indicates clearly the relationship between sodium species and ionospheric species, such as electron and major ion, the ionosphere is the ionized part of the atmosphere. It is created on the daytime by the absorption of solar radiation, which tears energetic electrons from the neutral component of the atmosphere. A population of energetic electrons is then created, which in turn is a source of ionization. In the modeling part, let us focus on sodium layer using a numerical simulation combined Boltzmann transport kinetic model for energetic electrons with the assumption of the ionosphere region. Complete continuity equation for the major ion species and sodium species. Differential ablation model for the meteorites for estimating the sodium injection rates based on the equation of motion, energy, and mass ablations. In the result parts, the first figure shows the ion productions at left, ion and electron densities at right, inverse altitude. The next figure shows the daytime evolution of the neutral sodium and sodium ion respectively. The sodium profile are in good agreement with leader measurement at Utah location. Thank you for your interest.